The first day comes I've lost sight of my home I start to wonder If it is still there As I sit here With my back to the sun Waiting for solar flares to come Two more days to light speed The third day comes And I am hoping now I won't face all these years alone I think of her And then I start to question What this mission really means for me What will come, will come Without my permission or my choosing You just can't be sure Of anything at all Except uncertainty Another day to light speed The fifth day comes Waking from my first deep sleep Everything seems sharper and more real I feel it grow Soon it will light up my wings The coronal mass ejections here what will come, will come Without my permission or my choosing You just can't be sure Of anything at all Except uncertainty This is my life There's no waking up All of this is real You Take it all, all that's left behind is the dust that we are made from. Oh. Tom, the idea for what will come is from my Infinite Entanglement That's album. Right. 
that we composed uh, this particular song together with Anabaka. And it's the story of a man who is waiting for a massive change in his life and the reconciliation that he has to make in his own mind that the path that he has chosen has led him to this place and there is no going back. So what will come will come. There is no choice. The future is unknown. And what I wanted to do, because it's a, a science fiction theme, was have something that would kind of relate to that. And when I said to you about it might be a medical thing or something, then yeah. then you had the other idea of the location. Yeah, and I has a I knew a friend who has a surgery room, and uh, we called him, and he immediately said, "Yeah, sure, you're welcome at Monday morning." So and use all his equipment, and uh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I think for me, it's it's very nice that the idea of being the lyrics are that he is alone and waiting in the spaceship, waiting for a coronal mass ejection, reflecting on the past, not knowing what the future is, at, but he has to go to the future, there's no way back now. Yeah. And uh, I really like that. And when we were in the, the vet surgery, it, it, was, it was a vet, and he brought out all of the tools. Yeah. And some of them still had bits of blood and stuff on them that hadn't been yeah, He asked if, yeah. if, if, <laughs> if we had to clean it, and we said no. So. <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, they'd been rinsed, but none yeah. of them had been cleaned, prepared for the next surgery. So we were able to do that. And I think it was, um, I liked the idea when we, as, as we were going, of the man taking out the tools, and this was his work because the character in the story, the, the character of William Black in the story is actually someone who is working on the spaceship and he has to get in and out of the spaceship very yeah. quickly. So I like the idea that, that he was checking things and the, ju just going through it. And, uh, and I thought the lighting there, we had these great big operation lights. Yeah. That was... Uh, yeah, we have your, your head in front of the operation light. It's, it's almost like you're in a tunnel or something when, weird I mean, like that. You, with your classical guitar, uh, you've played and done videos in many, many different locations. Yeah, does, but I didn't have a surgery this, room yet. Yeah. That, that's, that's the first time. The yeah. first time in the vet surgery. But I'm, I'm basically constantly, everywhere I go, if I'm traveling or whatever, constantly thinking, oh, that would be a nice place for a video. Yeah. Because, you know, there there's so many songs we're doing, and, and I'm yes. doing as well, and you just need to have a cool place for the video, otherwise yeah. it's just boring and people don't see the difference. If, if I would record all the songs like I used to do in the past, all the yeah. songs in the same room, yeah. and you upload a new one, people have seen that picture before, yeah. so they don't know if it's a new video or not. Yeah. So I like, this is something weird, and I think that well, adds up to it. What I like is, in the modern world, from, you know, I, I come way back from the 80s, in the modern world now, we have the technology and everything that uh, creatively you can go from writing the song to the video clip yeah. and no one else has any input into that. Which and is actually can, what we did, especially in this yeah. one, because we were, the three of us were together writing yes. the song, just jamming, yeah. recording some demos and then recording it for your album. Uh, then we performed it live this yeah. couple of days ago for the first time. And then we did the video all together. Yeah. So that, and, and edited myself. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I like it that um, yeah. it's a nice feeling as well that you can, nobody is going to misrepresent or put their idea of what the image should be yeah, yeah. onto the song. I'm not. That. It doesn't mean we're not open for other ideas, yeah, of course. But. Yeah, I'm not so fu I'm not too fussy, but many times in the past where people spent a lot of money on videos and they put things in and you think, well, that's just nothing to do with the band yeah. or the music. So. I actually have, have friends that, that want to do everything the old way, like pay a lot of money to get a video clip made yeah. so they have camera people, they have everything, somebody else editing it for them then the result is, it might be cool, but you spend so much money on one video that you could have made another album for that yes, money, which yeah. I think is more valuable yeah, than a video. Yeah, so. I think so uh, too. Yeah. So, thank you for watching What Will Come. It is from the album Infinite 
Entanglement, which is from Blaze Bailey. And we hope that you will tune in to the next installment of Tom and Blaze.